Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel, SSLC 2024. So, Science and Mathematics Final Exam Revision Series, SOS Study of Science Channel, Hagu DVS Math Channel Ali Martha Idivi. So, all the students, those who are feeling science and maths as a difficult subject, do follow and subscribe our channel to get maximum marks in the final examinations. Also, Nima upcoming examinations in the preparatories, it may be state or district, this yella examination lookuda, namma wandu, e revision series in nani follow Martha Bandre. Definitely, we promise you that you all guys will get good marks. Saying so much, in today's video, I am discussing about the most expected differences that can be asked in the examination. For example, Iga, recent Agi Karnataka School of Education and Assessment Board in the release Madhurva question paper nodi. We have difference uh, when it comes to the arteries as well as capillaries or arteries or veins. And in the recent paper, you have a you know, comparison between the capillaries present in the alveoli and the capillaries present in the Bowman's capsule, so-called glomerulus. So, hage, previous year papers, there biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Hege, there are lot of questions which can be asked based on the differences. So, one question definitely will be there in the paper. It may be any kind of differences. It may be homologous, analogous. So, in today's video, I am going to discuss about the most expected differences in the upcoming examinations. So, without skipping the video, complete our watch, Madi. So, do get the benefit out of it. If you are new to my channel, channel subscribe Madkoli and don't forget to watch all my exam enhancer video series on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday morning between 6 to 7 a.m. 7 a. This is a live session. Yes. So, let us begin with the first difference, pollination and fertilization. So, pollination. What do you mean by pollination? The transfer of pollen grains from the male to female part. We say anther to stigma. So, this is called as pollination. Fertilization and renu. It is just a fusion of male and female gametes. Gametes are nothing but the sex cell students. It is also called as germ cells. What else you can write? See, pollination always leads to fertilization. Pollination adrene fertilization agudu. Okay. So, the fertilization later leads to the formation of the seeds. Okay. Very important to know the difference between pollination and fertilization. Let's move for next. Sensory neuron and motor neuron. See, sensory neuron, in madate, they transmit the impulses from the receptor to central nervous system. See, nim gena dhru aakta idhe sutta mutta. So, yeh nagate, so, a ondhu information anna collect maad dhanta ondhu sensory neuron through receptor, it carries the information towards the central nervous system. It may be brain or spinal cord depending on the action. And, when I talk about motor neuron, they transmit impulses from the central nervous system back to the receptor. Whatever the information is carried by sensory neuron is processed and it is brought back by the motor neuron. Next, one more in, uh, you know, difference between sensory and motor is sensory neurons. See, they have dendrites which are located in the central nervous system and the axons outside the central nervous system. Whereas the motor neuron they have axon located in central nervous system and dendrites outside the central nervous system. This is one important difference. So, at least second point, the first point, please remember. Moving to next, homologous organs and analogous organs. Very important. Every time exam ali kere based on this question. Homologous organs. See, the organs which have similar origin, and basic structure, but they perform the different function. Whereas analogous, the organs which are having different basic body design, but they perform the same function. So, this is very important. Present model paper, previous many papers, many board papers. So, examples for homologous, if we, if we look at four limb of a frog and a man, if you, if you look at these two organisms, internal body design is, you know, similar. But forelimb is used for different purposes. 
same when i look at the analogous wings of birds and a bat they both you know look completely different but they perform the same function okay so very important analogous have different body design but they perform the same function let us go for next arteries and veins see arteries what is the job of artery arteries carries the blood you know away from the heart that means from the heart to all the parts of the body veins veins carry the blood from all the parts of the body back to the heart that means towards the heart next see what kind of blood arteries carry they carry oxygenated blood whereas the vein carries the deoxygenated blood moving to next the pressure is very high in the arteries why because the blood is coming out of the heart with the great pressure so i say the pressure is very high hence the walls of the arteries are thick whereas the pressure in the veins is low why because the blood is flowing slowly the pressure is low as the blood flows by the capillaries to the veins is slow so next renewable and non renewable see renewable what do you mean by renewable the sources that cannot be depleted over a time okay whereas non renewable means that will get you know depleted over a time that means it will get finish over a time example see for renewable i can say sunlight water wind and geothermal sources all these are the you know sources which will never get over in simple whereas when i, when I say non renewable these resources like coal petroleum basically fossil fuels they will get over so they get depleted over a time artha haagtide anko this is very important when it comes to asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction see asexual reproduction involves okay so reproduction through any part of the body you have seen regeneration fragmentation and binary fission in amoeba plasmodium different organisms reproduce from different parts of the body okay here male and female gametes are absent absolutely absent in asexual reproduction when i talk about sexual reproduction it involves the fusion of male as well as female gamete when i talk about the one more difference see asexual reproduction is a very simple process and cell division takes place so easily but when i talk about sexual it is the fusion of male and female gametes which is going to form zygote and from the zygote what is formed a embryo is developed and from the embryo then the fetus is developed in case of animals but in case of plants it is a fruit or seed is getting developed so this process actually the fusion of male and female we will call it as fertilization and when i talk about you know asexual no mixing of genetic material because there is no father and mother concept but when i talk about sexual genetic material get mixed because father and mother both are involved in reproduction okay and when it comes to so many differences are there see here when it comes to asexual variation cannot be seen or if it is seen very very less but when i talk about sexual great variation variation is nothing but new kind of characters new you know uh, appearances are seen in some of the organisms and asexual reproduction is a rapid process it takes place fastly and sexual reproduction is a slower process moving to next phototropism and geotropism see phototropism is the response of plant towards or away from the sunlight photo is nothing but light geotropism geotropism is nothing but response of the plant towards or away from the earth's gravity we say gravity next stem of the plant shows the positive phototropism where in the photo that is a uh, uh, phototropism actually i'm talking about stem part will show the positiveness whereas when i talk about geotropism root of the plant shows the positive geotropism whereas when i talk about phototropism root part shows negative phototropism because root grow away from the light when i talk about geo stem of the plant shows negative geotropism because stem grows above the soil next stimulus is sunlight because where there sunlight is sunlight the plant will bend towards that particular region okay when i talk about gravity see geotropism gravity is the stimulus so uh, 
plant grow towards the gravity that means towards the soil so when i say plant it is roots moving to one more important biodegradable and non biodegradable see these waste cannot be broken down into non poisonous that means biodegradable are so good to the environment they will not add any poisonous things to the soil whereas non biodegradable like plastic glass materials some chemicals like ddt okay these waste you know they broken down into harmless substances that means they create harm to the environment okay that means they are very harmful tumba dangerous anta helta idivi biodegradable anta heldaga you know that it is fruit peels of fruit vegetables they do not cause any damage to the soil next these biodegradable substances you know they break in the presence of microorganisms like bacteria and earthworms but non biodegradable cannot be decomposed by the action of earthworms or bacteria next biodegradable substances change their form and structure over a time and they become harmless that means they can easily mix up with the soil whereas non biodegradable they do not change that means they remain unchanged that means they remain as it is in the soil over a period of time they never change biodegradable will never pollute the environment whereas non biodegradable will pollute the environment see examples are spoiled food vegetable peels tea leaves wood grass leather cotton cattle dung all these are biodegradable glass bottles metal cans polythene bags synthetic fibers radioactive waste ddt all these are non biodegradable substances okay very important moving to next nervous system and hormonal system see nervous system formed from the collection of nerve cells which is nothing but neuron hey form agate so many nerve cells will combine to form nervous system hormonal system see they are formed by set of glands there are so many glands like thyroid gland adrenal gland pituitary gland all together form the hormonal system in nervous system electrico electrochemical impulses are the means of signal transmission that means the message from one nerve to another neuron that means another nerve cell it transports in the form of electrochemical impulses whereas in the hormonal system hormones are the means of signal transmission that means hormones are nothing but the chemicals so through chemicals the messages will move when i talk about nervous system again use of neurons to transmit the signal is the main source without neurons messages cannot be transmitted in nervous system whereas the hormonal system uses circulatory system to send the message that means to transmit the signal through blood the messages will move anta artha okay whereas nervous system signal is transmitted very fastly and hormonal system signals will transmit very very slowly okay so yes uh, i hope i have completed some of the concepts which i felt which is very important with respect to examination point of view okay so very very important whatever i have discussed so far the last point is the cells are interconnected to form the electrical impulses in nervous system whereas in the hormonal system see the organs are not connected here hence each and every individual gland releases their own chemical and those chemical will move in the uh, that means move in the in the sense move with the help of blood to the targeted regions elli problem aagtade allige blood mukantrane enagutte chemicals will move so next session alli inond ashtu chemistry inda prepare maartta idini the most important differences or one mark questions top most questions do watch all my video students and do join to all my exam enhancing series for your upcoming examination preparation so if you are not a joined uh, to telegram group do join to the telegram group for the pdf and if you are not a subscribe to my channel do subscribe and i request you kindly to share the videos with all of your friends thank you for watching this video